Have you ever had trouble sleeping during a full moon? For centuries, people have been fascinated by the potential effects of the moon on our health and behavior. But is there any truth to the idea that lunar phases can impact our sleep? Recent scientific research has shed light on the connection between sleep and lunar phases. First let's look at the moon phases. This cycle is broken down into eight phases, each with a distinct shape that reflects the amount of reflected sunlight visible from Earth. The cycle starts with a full moon and ends with a new moon, as it appears to shrink gradually each night until it becomes invisible. Moreover, the position in the sky changes each night as it orbits around the Earth, which affects the timing of moonrise and moonset. A full moon rises in the evening and sets in the morning when it is opposite to the Earth and Sun, while a new moon rises and sets with the Sun since it is aligned with it. The impact on biological rhythms is well established in the natural world. Lunar cycles can affect tree growth, crab reproductive patterns, spawning events in the Great Barrier Reef and the nighttime activity of all monkeys. However, the potential for moon phases to affect human behavior is not as clear-cut, with most studies producing inconsistent results. Despite this, there is compelling evidence to suggest that lunar cycles can interfere with sleep, with the full moon phase having the most significant impact. Swiss scientists studied in sleep laboratories how the full moon affects humans and they arrived at a very interesting result. The study was conducted on volunteers who slept in strictly controlled laboratory conditions, where they spent two nights. They did not know the reason for the study and slept in windowless rooms. Therefore, they could not be influenced by the light and the phase in which the moon is located. During the full moon, the volunteers fell asleep five minutes later and slept 20 minutes shorter than usual. Their sleep was not as good and they spent 30% less time in deep sleep. The results of the study confirmed what many had long believed, that the full moon affects humans. The time to fall asleep is prolonged, the onset of REM sleep and deep sleep is delayed. Since the study was conducted in a darkened laboratory, it suggests that the physiological reaction of humans may be innate. Therefore, the lunar cycle affects human sleep even when they cannot see in which phase the moon is located. The scientists also monitored the volunteers' brain activity, recorded limb and eye movements, as well as hormonal processes. The study participants also had to describe how they slept and many of them reported worse sleep and feeling less rested. The researchers found that during the full moon, the cerebral cortex is more sensitive and the brain activity associated with deep sleep decreases by almost a third. The data obtained from the study suggests that lunar phases affect our biorhythms and scientists assume that we have circulunar clocks in our brains that function in the same center that regulates circadian rhythms the body's internal clock. The influence of electromagnetism on the human body is another theory that is gaining traction in explaining the effects of the moon on sleep. As the moon orbits around Earth each month, it passes through the magnetotail, which is Earth's long magnetic field shaped by solar winds. During the full moon phase, the moon becomes negatively charged, which then interacts with Earth's electromagnetic field through a complex feedback process. Recent studies suggest that humans may be sensitive to low-level fluctuations in the geomagnetic field. Other natural events that cause geomagnetic disturbances similar to the moon's effect, such as geomagnetic storms and the northern-slash-southern lights, have been associated with a range of health effects. These include changes in blood pressure, blood flow, heart rate variability, headaches, and even heart attacks. While the biological mechanisms behind these changes are not yet fully understood, research indicates that they may be linked to hormone levels, DNA breaks, and inflammation within the body. The concept of the moon's gravitational pull impacting human health is rooted in the fact that the human body is primarily made up of water and lunar gravity noticeably affects ocean tides. However, some argue that the gravitational pull is minuscule in humans. Studies estimate that the effect of lunar tides on a person is less than one millionth the size of an atom. Additionally, the gravitational pull is nearly the same during both the full moon and new moon. Thus, any changes in sleep that occur during a specific lunar phase are unlikely to be solely due to changes in gravity. One common hypothesis is that a full moon disrupts sleep due to the amount of reflected sunlight it sends to Earth. The body's internal clock, which regulates sleep and wake cycles, is synchronized by the level of hormones produced in response to light. Thus, the amount of light is one of the most important factors influencing the onset and quality of sleep. However, there are doubts about the luminance as the primary cause of sleep disruption. Moonlight is only 7% as bright as sunlight, which is a relatively low intensity. 
people are exposed to much more artificial light at night than the amount reflected by the moon. Moreover, studies on sleep disruption during full moons were frequently conducted on cloudy nights or in enclosed, windowless environments. Recent research has highlighted a possible link between moon phases and bipolar disorder symptoms. In one study, patients' mood cycles frequently synchronized with lunar cycles over 37 years. Subsequent small studies have also shown a connection between moon phase and bipolar mood cycles, although the exact reason for this is unknown. The impact of the lunar cycle on other mental health conditions, such as anxiety and depression, has been a subject of speculation. However, several research studies evaluating the connection between moon phase, anxiety, and depression have not found evidence of a relationship. And what do you think? Is it all just a big coincidence? Is the influence of our nearest celestial body on us based purely on physics? Or is there much more to it, and are humans connected to the universe on a different level? While the scientific evidence is not completely clear-cut, there is compelling evidence to suggest that lunar cycles can interfere with human sleep, particularly during the full moon phase. However, not everyone is sensitive to the moon. Humans are very individual creatures. Some people don't even notice the moon in the sky, while others can't fall asleep during a full moon. Which one are you? Write in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video from me. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.